Hey guys, I hope my header here got your attention today. Are you committing professional malpractice? And nobody ever wants to see that, right? Well, today's podcast is going to talk about that. And what we're talking about is tax deeds and tax sales. And I'm not talking about, are you committing malpractice? Because one of your clients is going to go down and try to buy some property at a tax sale. No, what I'm talking about is when you as a real estate agent are in a transaction where the seller bought the property from tax sale, and now they're trying to sell the property and all they have is a tax deed. And now you're trying to draft a contract for them to sell the property to another person, or you're representing the buyer and your buyer's buying property from a, a seller who bought the property at tax sale. I can tell you in the 26 years I've been practicing law, I don't think I've ever seen a real estate agent write this contract properly. And by the way they are writing it, they're essentially committing malpractice because they are committing their seller to transferring marketable title and transferring under a general warranty deed, neither of which can happen with a tax deed. So what this podcast is going to be about, Erica Librand is one of the attorneys in our office. She heads up our title division. She and I talk about tax sales. What real quickly, how does a tax sale work? How the tax deed comes about? What then happens with the seller trying to sell property with a tax deed and all of the problems that a real estate agent is going to encounter, but more particularly the things that you're doing that are, in our opinion, professional malpractice that can get you sued and have a grievance filed against you. Um, you can wind up with the realtor association with an, an ethics violation there. And so what we're going to do is talk to you about the things that you're doing wrong and tell you how to do it right. And we're also going to talk to you about the proper way of selling property that has come through a tax sale and how to either quiet the title or to get a corrective deed to fix the issue. So if you'll take a listen to our podcast this week, I think you'll enjoy it. Last week's podcast on escalation clauses, by the way, was our number one podcast. It is uh, that podcast in one week is, is past all the other podcasts. It has gone. I'm getting 15, 20 emails a week this week already on it where people are telling me stories about their escalation clause nightmare. So we really are excited about how well that one did. Now this will be our last podcast until after the new year. Uh, next Thursday is New Year Christmas Eve and next the Thursday for that's New Year's Eve. So we won't do a podcast. So we'll be back January 7th with a new podcast, but that does give you two weeks to catch up on all the old podcasts. So if you check the link below, it will take you to our podcast and we have 10 episodes. They're all about 30 minutes each. So uh, over the next two weeks, you ought to be able to take some time and listen to all the podcasts. Um, I would suggest that y'all listen to some of those on the marketing aspect that we did on video marketing and how to grow your business and whether it's time for you to add an assistant and so forth. Because as you start planning for 2021, as you should be now, these are great videos to help you plan to decide when am I ready to take that next step to the next level? Do I need to get me an assistant? Do I need to add video marketing to what I am doing? And so I think those videos um, would be excellent uh, resources for you over the holiday season. So I hope everybody has a wonderful Merry Christmas and uh, look forward to seeing you all back at Blair Cato for a closing in the new year.